This video, I'm basically just doing a carb rebuild separate from the TS Revival series from a couple months ago. All right. Next day, after getting the TS running, got the carburetor here. It's a, it's a Keen. I don't know. However you pronounce it. Uh, I'm going to throw a rebuild in it. I actually have a, my Super Chicken engine right there that I literally rebuilt that key in like a week before I took it out. So I'm actually going to use the diaphragm out of there. And then I have all the pumps and the rest of the diaphragm, the, the rebuild kit in the toolbox still. So. <coughs> so a couple people have asked about rebuilding carburetors. I was just going to do a quick boom here hey i did i rebuilt the carburetor but you know what i just figured i'd go ahead and show it just in case any of the new people we've had a few new people join in on the uh subscriptions so we'll throw a carburetor rebuild if not bump past it probably gonna integrate some uh time lapse into it anyway so enjoy or don't enjoy but still like and subscribe and Tell me how you feel or tell me how I didn't do it right on the comments. Still have the gas tank out there to do. It got cold. For some reason, Louisiana doesn't know if it wants to be cold or hot or warm or pretty or whatever. So... It went from 80 to 50 in one day. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Come out of there. My hammer. There it is. Oh, it didn't need a rebuild. Look how hard that gasket is. <laughs> rebuild. You're able to tell how long something sits by if a carburetor don't even smell like gasoline anymore. Gasolina. Uh. We're going to go ahead and pull this whole thing apart. We're going to pull it down, man. It's dirty. She got a little rust in her. <laughs> what the hell is that? It's almost like sand, man. Well, good thing I got all these parts, too. Let's pull this side apart. Right there. Let will pull this side apart right there. This thing might run like a top, you heard? Run like a sewing machine. That's the pump. Pulse comes in <laughs> and flutters this. We need a new one. It's not too bad, but it's bad, you know? Oh wait, no, that's not it. Let me go find my, my carburetor parts, man. That's the key. All right. 
out of three kin kits, I might be able to make one. So let's open this one. Lucky number one. That's her right there. That goes on there. See, that has no hole. That's her right there. Look at there. back on there. <sighs> All right. Let's keep on rolling. Keep on rolling, rolling, rolling. All right. Arrini. Arrini. That's this one. Oh! Take that loose just for fun. No, I'm joking, you gotta take it loose. Take that loose. Actually. When you wanna go slam the, the flood water, you clear quick, all right? You'd really wanna take it apart sign it clean it throw it back together but this you know resealed cleaned it'll be fine don't be so stuck up about it do dab a little oil on that so it won't rust even though once the gas and the oil gets in there it won't but just don't like that head being all rusty okay. and then this is sealed with this Don't put this little get that nice and snug. <laughs> okay, don't mind me. All right, back to the sign. Get you old. Get your straight edge, flat edge, straight edge razor blade, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Quick and dirty. Boom. Boom!
I'm gonna pop her back on there, bud. Hey, that's not the right bolts. <sighs> Get her nice and snug. Now we're gonna be back to this side. Honestly, sitting 23 years, she don't look that bad. She's kind of lazy if you ask me, sitting around for 23 years. Hi man, we need a dollar for him, man. Look, look at that. Look at that. Look, it's brand new. Rebuilt. Well, didn't even guess it would have been smart to clean out the throat.